The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is the Monday, the 11th edition of the uh, Tiger Technicians Hour. And I have to really uh, go through a couple of things. I, I, I don't really like doing this because uh, it's just it's one of those hubris things. But I really have no choice. I have a webinar coming up on Thursday. It's a webinar for subscribers. You can, if you become a subscriber, you get it for free. Not only that, you get oh, so many webinars that I've gone through and all these different techniques. And I, I need to do this. I am, oh, it's tough, but I am going to do it. Uh, and before I do it, let me just show you uh, newsletters. There we go. Okay, so uh, this is going to be the this is going to be the webinar on Thursday. Uh, opening this is the opening call subscriber, and what we're looking at is stocks for the next market phase. And what I've been suggesting since we discussed it last week is that if you sign up, this is Thursday. This is Thursday at four o'clock for an hour and a half. But we're already putting positions on. We've been putting positions on for this phase that I discussed was really important that we would know by November the, the 5th very much whether or not there's a continuation or there's a failure in different sectors. So this, this I, I consider, let me just see if I can get out of that. There it is. So I'm, it's a 90-minute uh, uh, webinar. It's archived if you can't be there at 4 o'clock. Sectors and stocks for the next market phase. <clears throat> Sector rotation, oops, it shouldn't be say sector or rotation, but sector rotation should continue as new groups rally. Former out of favor, big losers are becoming winners. Analyzing weekly time frames to gauge intermediate term trends, demonstrating the critical 914 moving average crossover, a Chapman Wave technical tools of importance. And I'll answer questions immediately. As questions pop up whenever I do these, if you, if you have a question, I like to get to things as they happen, I am a current person. I don't look at a prologue or postlogue. It's just what happens now is most important. So if you have a question, it's probably the same question that other people have. So ask the question and people type it in and I try to answer it. Now, let me go through a bunch of things. <clears throat> and I'm lucky to have my charts. I had a big uh, blow up of some, uh, they, I guess Microsoft just updates without telling you that it's going to update. I have to, I want to know when the update is coming because I can then save and do a whole bunch of things with my trade station other than lose my notation for the past couple of days, which is what happened. But I finally got to thank you, um, um, Nathan from trade station that helped me for about an hour this morning getting everything back. But I managed to get all my work out last night <clears throat> into this morning, and that's great. So let me show you something. I forgot to, to uh, mention with the update, Bitcoin. Bitcoin is up 6,150 points at 83,500. I've been discussing this. I had when I was discussing with uh, Jacob in, in an interview last week and even the week before, I said, this pattern, this cup, the monthly chart, cup and handle, I've seen it over and over. It's so it, it's fabulous when you look at these fractals, meaning there's a particular pattern which re, which occurs and reoccurs in all time frames. I have noted that patterns occur in even diverse sectors in the market. If the pattern is there, be prepared to see it occur in other areas. So I had said that Bitcoin made this cup and potential handle pattern in the mon monthly chart, which is very much like the IYT, the Dow Transportation Index, which had already, uh, when I was discussing it, was last month. So it looked like the cup, and the handle. What does the transportation uh, index have to do with uh, Bitcoin? Nothing. But the chart remains. And look at the weekly chart, how you've got this left side, right side price time match going to a leg D. And look at the Bitcoin at BTC. 
Look at that. Same pattern, except this is in leg C, not leg D. In the weekly chart, still very positive. Gaps up to leg D in the daily. BTC, Bitcoin futures, continuous contract. So we, we I'm embarrassed to say, for the last big move back into the 2021 high, we were there for GBTC, the Bitcoin futures. I never got, we were in at 12. The darn thing goes screaming up GBTC, GBTC, went to uh, 58 and went to, uh, what was it? 2022. It went to, yeah, 58.22. And on the way down, we were, we were on the way up. We got out of there. Suddenly we had two positions. One was supposed to be short term, and the other one, 50 cents away from $12.82 or something, um, was supposed to be long term. We kept them both. And so we had really fantastic problems. And then I didn't do anything. Once or twice we nibble, but we never did anything. And when it was down here in the eights, under 12, I thought, are you, what is the matter with you? It's gone back under 12, but they, it was so volatile. I mean, 12 to 10 is, two, I mean, two points in a, a $10 stock. Um, that's a, that's a 20%. So I was, I didn't do anything. And then I watched it go up and up and up. Finally on this cup and handle, where the handle, it goes back to the previous high or maybe a little bit higher and then pulls back. Let me just go to the Bitcoin because that's what we we're really looking at. Um, that's it to me that there's a really good chance that this handle and a cup and handle, not one of my favorite patterns, unless you get it in the lower part. And we were very lucky to buy um, IBIT. That's also part of the Bitcoin crowd. Uh, we bought it uh, very favorably. And with, with that said, um, it's remarkable when things pick up speed, how they can go on an upside momentum so quickly. So we are fortunate we got in, we had it twice, we had it in 38.77, uh, had some nice profits and took a tiny loss just for some reason, it just slipped underneath our stop. It was my fault, I made it a tad too tight. Um, but we got right back in in the 39 area. And yeah, this IBIT is trading. And one of the reasons is, I discussed this many times over the last week, and a, a lot of subscribers, a lot of people had asked me and said, what about whatever it is, whatever instrument in the Bitcoin area they were looking at? And I said, think of it this way. You're only in iShares Bitcoin Trust, the ETF, you're only in the handle part, but you've got to know that the contract itself has made this huge cup formation and this is just the handle in the weekly chart that you can see. That's why we want it. So here it is at uh, 47.34. I mean, how, how, how quick is that? Uh, I mean, we're along from over there. Look at this. Up in leg D. So that says it could, yeah, it could have a little bit of a pullback. But this says it is buying pressure based on the technicals that we were looking at, that cup and handle. But also because uh, it has to do with this administration, the chances are <clears throat> that Bitcoin will become a lot more favorable. So in a sense, you've got fundamentals and technicals. All right, let's calm down and let's get back to what we were looking at before. So the Dow, which we've been long and long diamonds and long the uh, three times long for quite a while, is up at uh, 400, up 409 at 44,396. Very good news. Now I'll explain what I'm looking at the Fibonacci expansion. I'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. 
published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Hi folks, I'm just uh, filling in the notation here. I had a question about uh, GEV, unbelievable move to the outside, A, B. And you can see when I, I, I lost a lot of notation over the last two days. I'll have to re-notate a bunch. This is not automatic. Every single ABC that you see in my charts is hand-drawn. So there it is. Here's when I had GEV, uh, GE Renova LLC back in the 160, 70 area. <laughs> and now look where it is. More than double. It is trading at um, 339 today to 348 having a little bit of a breather after such a spectacular move. Oh, look at this. This is amazing. All right. So I, I'll get to this in a moment. I'll do it right now. So I've got this as leg C in this brand new um, sun instant restart. Each time it makes a peak D and then goes sideways for a little bit before it breaks out. So this is a brand new leg C. I think it's going high. I think 353 to 355, I think, is going to be the area where it stalls. We're getting a lot of areas that are uh, looking like stalling uh, areas at this point. Most importantly, you've, I wouldn't touch this as far as taking uh, – just take a profit because it's money management – Take a little bit off because that's what you need to do when you get a breakout to the upside like this. But keep your core position. And I would just say between three, have patience between in the next two weeks, between three, uh, it's at 339 right now, between 325 and 318. I think there'll be that will be the next opportunity uh, to get in. So I also wanted to show you this. I'm, I'm skipping around. I don't like that, but I need to do it because I've got the webinar coming up and I'd like people to know what I do. Otherwise, how on earth would you even know? So I discussed the S&P, the S&P and the small caps, the IWM, 2000 uh, stocks, small caps, um, in relation to the leader and the um, and the, the catcher upper, very much like silver and gold. I talk about silver, seeing gold rally and suddenly it would dive to the upside or rocket to the upside. And then it would gold would stall and the other they, they catch up, up and up, up and up. And then all of a sudden they would both rally and then both come tumbling down. That's what we've got now. So I said I am anticipating that at some point we're going to see the S&P leading. 
but you're going to see the IWM play catch up. We've been long since I think 2000 and uh, 203 in the IWM. We've been trying to add back to our what we got out of our three times long. And just keep missing it, but I know some people still have that, and that's good. Well, look at this, the IWM. So the S&P is up 0.14, 0.14% today. The Russell is up 1.03 at 240.53. As I say, we're in, we're in right from the low that was made. Why didn't I put that in? Um, oh, that was silly. What happened there? All right, so let me just, whoopsie, don't do that. Oh, these mistakes that you make with the mouse. Yeah, so the IWM, uh, we've been in since uh, the low of August, uh, August the 6th at 203.66, uh, taking a little bit off and had other positions that are very nice. And here it is at 240. So for new subscribers, what would you do? Well, I have a plan, and the plan has been that if we see this rotation going on, high-level consolidation in many cases, in other words, even the SMHs have not broken down the semiconductors, they're having a high-level consolidation close to recent highs, but they, they're sort of fading. And that just tells me that that's the pattern we're looking at, same as that cup and handle. Look at this beautiful cup formation in the monthly chart of the ISHs. They should get to 244.46. I don't know if it'll be this week. But the way they're acting right now, that is very good action. Leg D I've got in the daily, leg D in the weekly, leg D in the monthly. But there's a chance that this rotational move includes them in such a way that people who missed out are going to be coming back in. So it'll be by the, by the dips, but you've got to know where the dips are and how they are playable. So the other thing I was looking at, relationship of the S&P 500 to the IWM Russell 2000 small caps, it's the same relationship that I've been talking about for ages for the XLF. So in the XLF, the S&P Select Financial Spider Fund, I chose a long time ago Bank of America because Bank of America is, um, it was lagging, but my suspicion was on a percentage basis for what we got uh, in Bank of America getting in, in the 31s, that it would give us a better percentage gain than if we bought, say, JP Morgan or something. I might be wrong, but that's just percentage-wise. So here it is at... 46.34, a really nice gain so far for us. We did take just a very small off um, today for, um, gosh, what was it? Uh, let me just check. Uh, we got, I'll check. Uh, I think it was a 42% gain on this tiny little bit that we've taken off because we want to keep the score position. Leg E in the weekly, in the daily chart, it could be a brand new uh, instant restart, but I'm calling it E. Leg D in the weekly and leg B in the monthly with 50.11, the high of February. So that's one that's been working very nicely for us. So that's the relationship of the XLF now to the KRE, the same thing. This S&P regional banking sector up 2.8% today. The XLF is up 1.66%. And that's the relationship I'm trying to get by buying the KRE, uh, the S&P regional banking ETF, and um, seeing... Uh, we, 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 you know, part of the position's at 63, it's trading at 66.86. Not, not a big deal yet, but I think this has got a, a really nice move to the next resistance level. Once it's breaking out of the monthly chart to the plumb line that I use, uh, right now this is the this is exactly the month, uh, this is exactly the time frame. So the high of August of 2022 of 68.83. That's the level that we are looking at as a target in this particular phase. So, yeah, it's only two points away, but, hey, anything can happen, right? So that's, that's the relationship we've got. So I wanted to just point out the type of thing that we're doing. Um, I always like to look for a peak D in our positions, and then we start to make some decisions. For instance, we have one. Solventum, I've spoken about this very often. Here it is at uh, 71.68, down 75 cents. Well, we have a position from way, way down here in the 57s. 
uh, back in August. We've taken a little bit off, and then when it got, I said that instant restart is probably not an instant restart. It's going to go to EF, or, and then it will probably come down sharply. When it went to E at 73.40, pull back sharply. Then we added a trading position. And that trading position, uh, we, uh, this is this is something that is quite important to me. I like to have core positions and then have trading positions around that because that makes it very important. You, you can skip worrying about your initial position, hopefully, and then you have your trading positions. You take money off, you come back in, come out, come in, and it's, it, it, it's the fun part of trading. So um, we, got, we got the second position at... Uh, let me just see where it is. At 67.34, no, 68, 68.37, and uh, took money off when it hit the leg D was 76.06 on Friday. Happens to be earnings. So it spikes up, gives us our leg D and our gain, and we got out of some again. And now it's pulling back, as you would expect at a big D reversal. I'll be back in a moment. Dow's up 409, 410. That's going to be some 10.9. It's a little divergence there, right? That's what you're going to be seeing over the next week. I'll be right back. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kickstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archive live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. 
Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. So I was asked about ARWR, which is Arrowhead Pharma. Gosh, I must have noted this. I don't know how many times that I seem to have lost the notation, at least for the monthly chart. But this is a really, remember we did this, I can't, was it, what, what was it that had this exact same pattern longer term? Oh, I think it was natural gas, UNG. And look what happens. It just keeps making low lows and lower highs. And then all of a sudden, this base, the channel wave inside track propellant zone kicks in. And lo and behold, what do you have? You have a bounce off it. But a bounce off it doesn't mean a thing. If you ain't got that swing. All right, so what happens is you've got a, some kind of symmetry in these arch formations, dreaded H pattern going to lower lows and lower highs. But this is the first time that the... The MACD has held flat to the upper side without pulling back, which is just one little bit of a good sign here, Arrowhead Farmer. And uh, Dan says, long-term holder, plan to go there and change some. Okay. Despite the, the low valuation, shares around 20, I've never been more confident, all right. Their first commercial drug is likely only in a couple of quarters away. Uh, partner programs with industry heavyweights Amgen. TAC and GS game. Hmm. I don't remember what TAC is. Anyway, these are major companies <clears throat> similar to slightly longer timelines. So all I can say is you've done your homework. If it's a biotech, the idea of the biotech is to be able to hold it either uh, through thick and thin because the thin is <laughs> much, much, much more, the propensity to have these sudden slides is much greater than for those major rallies to hold. And that's why you've got always, if you look at a chart that has the long wick on the upside and it keeps making low lows and low highs, you just say, ah, looks like a biotech. All right. Well, this is going to be different only if. Yes, the daily is looking good. It's done that before. But I normally I'd say, oh, you've got to go. And I'd look to the left side. I'm not looking to the left side at all in terms of the daily chart. I'm looking to it in the weekly chart. And I can just tell you that from a chart basis, the high of the 30th, the week of the 30th of August at 25.14 ARWR trading up 36 cents right now, 22.25. If there is a close, it cannot just pop and break it. It's got to be a close, a weekly. What's really important about this, have a look at these are weekly charts. Have a look and see if you can find any week where the price closed at the high, except for right there, the big red candle of the 31st of May, where it, where it opened at 20, it opened at 25.36. That was the high and it went down to 22.35. I want to see a green candle with a close at the high. So, it did that last week. So you see, I you've got to let, let the price, let whatever you're following be its own template and its own marker and its own um, internal characteristic that you want to monitor. And that was the first time last week that it actually closed at the high, but the sign was the candle of the 18th of October, 21.44 was the high. And where was the close? 21.18. So that was a hint that if you didn't take out that candle's low, even if you had inside bars, meaning a lower high and a higher low, if you broke to the upside, you wanted to see another green candle that closed at its high, and it did that. And you've got the first hour of the next trading week where you've popped to the upside, even have a little bit of a gap, that's the first positive sign that I can see. It's on a micro basis. On a macro basis, I'm saying that I want to see some kind of a close above certainly the 2538 high of the week of, the, of August the 23rd. But if it touches that, that's important. It's a 2229 right now. That's a long way to go. But 
what will happen is that the weekly chart I, leads your, your monthly. The shorter term leads the next next time frame. I can't even do that. Forget about the monthly because I could make a case that the monthly chart is making much lower low, lower highs. And therefore, everything that you're talking about here is, is relative to a declining chart formation that sees no positives whatsoever just based on price points alone. So with that said, you want to see by the second, I'd say the second week of December, if, if all of this is going to occur now rather than in 2025, the second week of December, if we have not closed under 19, I'm just giving it, I would prefer 20, but I'll say 19. If it hasn't closed under 19, but in fact, it's starting to make higher highs and higher lows, that's the area that we want to see. And what is it? It's right here in the middle of that bar, 23.22. So about another point higher. If there is a move this week above 23.22, that's your second sign based on the daily chart leading to the weekly chart to say that's what you want to see as at least the momentum because it all depends on FDA approval, all sorts of things. But the momentum independent of that is starting to move positively. Hope that helps you. Okay, next question came in. Could I look at, oh, where did it go? Um, oh, I know what I did. I forgot to do this. Give me one second. And now I can see right here. So I'm always fascinated by this. People are always waiting to see who's the person Who's the person that gives you the exact day of the turn and blah, 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 blah. And I say to myself, you know, I've got all these techniques that I've developed for years and years and years. I have time cycles. For instance, right here, today is the time cycle that I had going from, yeah, going from, uh, that was March of 2024 in the, in the Chapman Wave Dark News Index, from that high down to the low, back to the high of the of July the 18th, 2024, that's the time sequel sequence. It'll be the sequel by the end of the day. That said, the 11th would be the time. Uh, I just need to check something flashed on my screen. That there's an exact time sequence. So today's the 11th and we're breaking out. Now, I, I mentioned this a couple of times. I mentioned it in my, my video that I did. It was an hour and a half. It was almost like a webinar itself on Thursday night. I said, it's just purely by chance that I've got this particular trend line, horizontal trend line here. That's not, that's not giving it a resistance level. That's just to say, there's the one match. This is the other match. I could put it anywhere. And lo and behold, we just hit that and then broke it. But that, that's not the point. The point is, I think that this is actually a leg A in the daily chart of the Dow, not a continuation pattern. I think it's new. Wow. That's all I can say. Wow. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. 
an amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors for traders who crave risk directions daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade and trade through rapidly changing markets these are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading not long-term investing whether you're a bull or a bear you choose the direction for up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So folks, here's the dreaded H pattern. This is the case where I look at three different uh, patterns themselves, straight line up, straight line down. Cup formation, arch formation, mix of one and two or one and three, Dreaded H is when you come down sharply, you make it an arch formation, you fade at a peak A or a B, you take out decisively the left side low. In this case, if it's the opposite with green and it's a reverse Y, if you take out the left side high, that's going to be really important. So we're looking at this H pattern in red because it could be a very negative one. But if it holds within three bars, which I like to say two bars, but it could be three, and closes above the left side high the higher it closes the better it is it could create a beautiful cup formation a deep cup formation well lo and behold uh, wheat uh, soybeans uh, trading at uh, 1028 down two and a quarter this is the continuous contract i did check the january it's pretty much the same so i'm quite comfortable using this uh, said that you made that pattern and now it should be a move to the upside especially if within it closes two out of three bars above the left side high. So far, it looks like it's already done that once, twice. This is the third day, so it doesn't matter if it closes below the, this high. I'd prefer if it didn't right here of uh, 1,024 and a quarter, and we're trading at 1,027 and uh, three quarters, right? So... This is, so far, very positive action. I, the only thing missing, you've got the 914 positive, you've got the MACD positive, you've got the relative strength index, very strong. You've got the on-balance volume running nicely, that's good. But the stochastic is at 76.77. I want to see the stochastic at 80%. 80% and higher is really what we're looking for. And you remember I said that the pattern that we're looking at in the weekly chart says it's gone to a peak, B it's a 200 period moving average. Now I can see an H going to a lowercase m pattern unfolding. And that just says it makes 1070 a target. So to me, if it can close above 1048 in the next two sessions, then that's my target, 10, uh, sorry, my target would be 10.56 next, but needs to hold the 10.19, 10.22 to 10.19 in the next few days. I think it's going to do that. So, um, uh, Ben, as far as I'm concerned, we discussed this on Friday, I think it was, I said, so far it's acting well, it's still acting quite well, but it's in a leg B, I would like to see... Um, if it's a leg C, I'd like to, I'd like one, uh, I'd like 1052. 1052 says to me, yes, on the right track, moving up. And I think you said, um, I think you said you were long 
And I can't remember your long options or whether you're along the position. And, uh, oh, happy birthday today, um, Darth Xander. Uh, very good. Okay. So, yeah, that's what we're looking at. Next question. Oh, I haven't got to this. So, it's a very interesting. I had said that Robin Hood has the gold area, it has the Bitcoin, and it could rotate between the two. But it seems to me that the public, the audience, the clients of Robin Hood are really favoring those particular mediums, gold or metals or Bitcoin. So uh, we belong since the low. We waited and waited patiently to get long. Um, and we got long. Uh, that was at the low in August. And we've been long since. We've taken little bits off. But most of the, there are long right there. But most importantly, this particular, I wanted to get back in a lot. We just didn't get in because everything was moving too quickly. And I had other positions that I felt was really important for us to get in. Look at this move. So um, uh, Robin Hood at this particular point trading. Let me just move this away. Uh, let me go here. Just so I can give accuracy to it. So we're along from 16.89, and here it is at 33.89. So that's a double. And that's really important because um, it's only a leg C in the, in, in the weekly, and I have Ds as really the ob objective the objective in a buy signal that's upgraded to a buy mode of anything that we're looking at should go to at least four higher peaks, peak A, then peak B, third is peak C, and then leg D goes to peak D, and then you can make decisions. So that's really important. But here again, I, if you think about this, I just need to check here. Was that a, a 38, a 30.06? 30, ah, this is not. So this is definitely a leg B because you cannot get an H. So we're in leg B in Robin Hood, Hood, trading at 33.89, up 3.34. So I, I really don't like doing this. It's just, it's a, I've always been, I don't like hubris in the market. It just turns around and says, ha, you think you're great? Watch this. Bam, right on the nose. So I don't think I need to, I can afford another bop on the nose. Um, from my youth, I'm talking about. Um, yeah, so... I, this is a leg B and a leg C, a leg B in the daily, leg C in the monthly, as I'm notating it right now. So let me just finish up these things because otherwise I'll run out of time. So I'm going to go to um, gold. Gold is down sharply, down 72 now. The reason we had G-O-L-D, which is, this is Barrick Gold. It did okay. It, I mean, but we got out. We got out, we took a little bit of profits. No, we took nice profit, and then we got out with a very small loss. And I said, we're going to give it a chance, but we got out and we're done. And that was last week. Mm -hmm. um, we got in at 19, took a little bit off, and went all the way to the 21s, um, which is a nice 10, 11% game, but that's, it, it wasn't acting well. And it had this Chevrolet wave inside track repellent zone in the weekly chart, didn't like it. So now what we're looking at is, um, GDX, look at that, going down to the 200p moving average of 36.8. Uh, so you remember, I was saying before, so everyone's waiting for all these timing things and timing things. But if you just do your homework, I like to use the Chavery methodology. It's been pretty faithful to us and, and done nicely. It often picks the exact day of a turn because we've got Gs or Ds or whatever it is. Um, and all I can say is I, I prefer that to... I love looking at cycles. I like to look at the moon and all that thing. But I use it only as an adjunct to my work. It's really important that you believe in you know, your work. Otherwise, um, you, you start to get confused by everything else. It didn't hold the inside track uh, propellant zone. Silver is down uh, 84 cents at 30.60. So that became a big G at the top. F at the top in the weekly chart, and a D in the monthly chart. Now I'm watching this very closely. Let's go to high-grade copper. High-grade copper is down again. Didn't act all that week. We had a nice session, then lousy sessions. And that just says to me, you've got to be careful if you're putting it to – this is so selective. Look at this. The semis are now down 5 points. Someone in the den was talking about the SOXS had a nice trade. Yeah, all of a sudden, that SOX, A, B, C – D, made a peak D, but still holding very nicely at 20.77. Let's go to crude oil. 
crude oil right now <clears throat> down wow two at uh, 68.22 look at um bonds the tlt the tlt is trading down 64 cents at 91.84 it's just struggling from this trough g to hold traction i think it might try in this particular move but it's it's tough so i've gone through those indexes and then there are a couple of things i'll do for the final segment today uh we haven't even looked at apple and stocks like that apple is down 3.8 i'll be back the consistency you're looking for is closer than you think one or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry October 11th and 25th for more live trading action. Your purchase goes towards two sessions, so make sure to sign up now so you don't miss a chance to sit next to Larry as he trades the market live. For all information and to reserve your spot today, go to the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So, look, Apple's down. This, is, this has been my comment for quite some time. Some of you know that this is, I mean, you've been listening to me. I've been saying stocks like the, 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 the um, those top seven um Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, etc., or five, whatever you want to call it, they don't have to keep going like this. They can just hold steady. And this is exactly what I've been saying about Microsoft, which we bought at 338, had fabulous gains. I don't expect much from it in this phase. I think it will have a good phase, but it might even have to pull back further. Same with a um, a Apple and Amazon. Let's see where that's trading right now. Amazon, big move up, all time high on Thursday. Uh, to the 2413 two area and um, leg C in the weekly chart. So this one is still doing, I think Meta was also doing quite nicely. So this is very isolated. You've got certain stocks doing very well and others a lot. For instance, AIQ, 
it hurts me even to show it because we've got it and we've taken some profits in it. But I wanted to add back and I chose other areas. I shouldn't be upset because we, we chose areas that have been doing very well. But AIQ is the Global X Artificial Intelligence ETF. And I said that it's most probably in this particular instance better to have the components in, in, uh, to have the ETF of the components than to have a single one because that one might not work. And this has worked really well for us. So AIQ, which is um, the, this is the cause, the ingredients all made up into one unit. And uh, fortunately, uh, you know, we've been, we've been long since the uh, uh, 28th back in uh, November of 2023. So that's a long time. Um, yeah, someone said the other day, I just bells on have short term positions or just long, just short term. We've got the dollar trading right now. And what is the dollar trading at? We've had the dollar since 2018. Oh, wow, that's a real short term trade, right? The dollar trading right now at 105.62, going to the upper area of this arch that goes from an H to an M pattern. What will it do if it can get to 106? Have a wonderful rest of the day. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow and check out my opening.